as you please, the more you talk, I'm going down on my knees. You know the devil tried to stop me more, but God filled me with his Holy Ghost, Jesus. Every time.
All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thine own have we given thee. We have fixed it. Amen. God still answers prayer, and because he still answers prayer, he'll fix it every time. All right. Is the message getting clear to us today? God wants us to pray. Uh, we thank God for the officers who have helped to serve here today. We want to ask now if our children would come forward, those 12 and under, would please come to the altar at this time. This is this moment is for you. All of the, you don't have to be a member here. Any, any young person, 12 and under, is welcome to come to the altar. And I want to announce while I'm here that we will be having our coffee house, our special coffee house uh, celebration on the fourth Friday, the 25th of February at 7 p.m. Uh, now I need to meet, also need to meet with all the choirs at two o'clock on Saturday for just an hour all the choirs just an hour from two to three. I have another meeting at three with the steering committee for the uh, annual conference, so it would be just from two to three. I need to meet with all the choirs for annual conference. Okay.
Good morning, Bethel. We greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we ask that you bear witness with us as we pay tribute to Richard Allen. I like the candle eye in justice. Let us all let us always remember Richard Allen and his associates and their noble efforts in protesting racial segregation and discrimination in Christian worship. In 1787, they withdrew from St. George's Methodist Church in Philadelphia and began a movement to establish the African Methodist Episcopal Church. I like the candle C for church. I like the candle H, heritage. From the humble beginnings in Philadelphia, the church now has more than one million members in the United States of America, the West Indies, and elsewhere. the candle a academics we are very grateful for the many blessings that stem from the ame churches they include wilbert forrest allen morris brown paul quinn edward water kitchell monrovia and daniel payne I light the candle C, which stands for rejoice. This celebration of our Founder's Day is an occasion of thanksgiving and rejoicing to God for his guiding hand and gracious provision. I light the candle D for dedication in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. We rededicate ourselves as young people to the task of helping to achieve the goals of the African Methodist Episcopal Church. Seven candles represents the letters in our founding father's name and God's number of completion. We charge you to not only complete Richard Allen's mission for our church, but God's mission for our church. Thank you and God bless you.
Amen. Let's give him another hand. I thank God. Uh, I am really so pleased that the information was presented.